All right, guys, big, big win for the Saints here in the Superdome. Drew Brees joins me. Last week in Cincinnati, you said it was the most complete win of the year. How on earth do you characterize this one? Well, I guess this one topped that one just by a little bit. So um, definitely room, room to grow, though, you know. Um, listen, it, it's, it's great when you can come out and feel like you're hitting on all cylinders, um, offensively running the ball, throwing the ball, um, defensively coming up with the, the – the stops that they did, and just playing with the emotion that they did, the emotion and passion. I mean, we could feel that, um, and our fans felt it. You know, playing here in the dome um, against the, the, you know, defending Super Bowl champs. Um, you know, we felt like this was going to be an extremely tough game, um, with them coming off a loss on Sunday night and, and being ready to go. And um, interesting to see their game plan early, which was you know really just to, to tr take away Mike Thomas, to take away Alvin Kamara, right, in the passing game. And so very early on, we realized. The opportunities we're going to be with some of these young guys, right? Um, so Traquan Smith, you know, who had 12 catches on the year, comes up with 10 tonight, you know, with a bunch of targets, and and Keith Kirkwood and Austin Carr and our tight ends, and um, but listen, that's man, that's that's a team effort right there, right? Um, and then those guys start making plays, and then it opens up an opportunity or two for Mike, an opportunity or two for Kamara. So. Um, and that's what teamwork's all about, guys coming together. You never know whose opportunity it's going to be. You never know who's going to have the matchup. But when we can exploit that, then good things happen. I talked to Keith Kirkwood. He said, you know, he hasn't been around you a long time, but he feels that comfort level. You just seem so comfortable out there. You played football a long time, Drew, in the NFL. Have you ever felt this comfortable? Um, I, play, I play good. I mean, I, I feel good playing the position right now, you know. And um, I mean, I'd say that I – I usually do. I always do. You know, I just know you won't go there. No, yet. no, because of the because of the preparation that takes place during the week, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a nervous wreck during the week because it's you know you're grinding on film and you're and you're studying the game plan and you're trying to anticipate. Okay, well, what if they do this? What are we going to do? And what if they do this? And so you just hype all these hypotheticals, um, but it's so that you're prepared. And when you go into the game, when you step on the field on Sunday, you know there is nothing this defense can do or show us or that. Um, we're not ready for or that we haven't thought through and we don't have a plan for. And so there's a lot of confidence that comes with that. But it takes a lot of work to get to that point. Speaking of confidence, late in the game, you guys have a fourth down and you go for it and you convert it. What went into all the decision making on that play? That was a bit of a cluster, I'll be honest with you, because, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously we're up by a lot. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, I mean, we want to possess the ball. You know, we want to run the clock down. We don't want to keep putting our defense out there. We want to, we, we, we just want to execute. We want to execute uh, a good drive. Um, so third down play, and we did, we did not get the look we wanted for the original play. So I, I just kind of got to something and got some young guys out there that didn't really know what I was talking about. So we get to fourth and five, and then, you know, it, it, clock's ticking down, and, you know, <laughs> Sean basically just said, hey, go empty and call what you want. Oh, so, really? yeah. So <laughs> here you go, AK. <laughs> I'm guessing that's pretty a rare occurrence, isn't it? Uh, I mean, no, I mean, it, 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 it happens at times, um, but it's, uh, listen, for me, it's just knowing my coach has confidence um, to, uh, for me to get us to the right play and get the ball in the hands of the guys that can convert the first downs. Speaking of coach quarterback confidence, late in the game, really the last two weeks, you probably could have left the game earlier. Do you have to tell Sean I want to stay in? Do you have to lobby for that? Or how, how does that work? Because you're not used to coming out of games. Yeah, first of all, that's unusual, right? Um, but, but yeah, I, um, these last fourth quarters, you know, last week and this week. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, for me, it's just um, when I'm on the field, it, it's my huddle, right? And it's my offense. And you call the plays, and I'll, I'll get it done, right? I'll get the job done. That's my job, right? So take that seriously. Um, and, and just even though the situation might be where you're up by a ton, it's, you know, you know that situation. You're, you're, you're using the clock, but, you know, we are here to convert first downs. We are here to score points, right? Um, and then when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm off, it's, hey, Teddy, it's your show, you know? But, uh, but no, you're always, always thinking about how to score. Listen, we work hard to get to that point. We work hard throughout the week to prepare and, and to put ourselves in a position to have fun. So let's have fun. Nine straight wins. You know, the media, sometimes we look at the schedule and we're thinking, boy, that's going to be a tough five-game stretch for you guys. I don't know if you guys look at it that way. I, I know what your answer probably is. But the fact that you won five straight against some really good football teams, now you have nine in a row, and you have Atlanta coming up. I mean, talk about – you mentioned confidence, but how does this team feel right now? Listen, I know this. Atlanta, divisional opponent, coming off a tough loss. Man, they're going to be ready to play. Um, they're going to give it all they have, as, as do we. Um, we want to keep this thing going. We want to continue to improve. Um, you know, 
man, winning, <laughs> winning feels great, but, but there's a lot of work that goes into winning. And, and I think we, we realize how good we can be. We know we're not there yet. We just want to continue to take strides forward. Last question I have, your uh, coach lost a bet with the Philadelphia coach. You had to wear the, uh, the, the whites. You haven't lost in the whites. You want to keep wearing the whites? Well, yeah. Um, listen, we, we, we were signed up to wear them three times this year, so I think our, uh, whoever makes that decision, you know, we, we did. And so now, listen, I, I, when we're at home, I like the black. I understand. Great game. We'll see you Thursday. All right, thank you. All right, Drew Brees here. Offense keeps rolling. Saints keep rolling. Back to you guys.